Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be continuing off of the previous tutorials we've been doing uh, for the RPG game tutorial series, and we're going to be adding uh, experience points, um, leveling, and like player levels, and skill points, so that you know eventually we can add in kind of a a skill point system or skill tree kind of thing, and do some cool stuff with our character. So, um, with that said, let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up our character blueprint. All right, and inside here, uh, basically the way we're going to do this is well, first we're going to create a bunch of variables um, that will kind of you know keep track of our experience points, our level, and our skill points, and then we're going to create a function that we'll be able to call from somewhere, um, like. For example, say we kill an enemy, we'll be able to call the function and add experience. Or say we craft something, you know, we'll be able to call that function and add some experience, right? Um, so right now we're not going to be going into any like really in-depth kind of, uh, I guess, individual like skill leveling per se. It's more of just going to be, you know, the player's own level. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start adding some variables. So going to click add a new variable and I'm going to call this uh, player level and we'll make that an integer let's add another called skill points another called current XP and now this current XP one will be a float as will the next one which we will call needed XP now needed XP will kind of serve the same purpose as you know kind of the uh, the max health or max stamina does um, with like our other values here except we're calling it needed XP just so it's a little more clear what um, what the variable is doing right like this will be the amount of experience points you need to kind of level up basically alright so now we can compile and save and let's go ahead and create our function alright so we'll go to the functions tab and we'll press the plus and we're going to simply call this add XP all right, and now on this function, we're going to add an input, and this is going to be called, um, or let's just call it amount, or we'll call it just simply added XP. All right, and this will be the amount of experience points that we want to add. So we'll change that to a float, compile and save, and now we're ready. So how this is going to work is whenever we call this function, we are going to increase our current experience points okay so let's go ahead and we'll take our current XP or rather first let's set our default values alright so player level will set to a value of 1 skill points you know we'll set to 1 um, current XP will leave at 0 and then needed XP um, we can put this at 100 for now all right, and you know, there's a couple different ways you could really do the the XP. Um, the way we're going to do it is we are going to kind of uh, every time you level up, we're going to multiply it by something so that um, you know it'll kind of update itself on the fly. Whereas other ways you could do it, you could create an array of different like uh, levels, I guess, and then at each level have a specified amount of XP you need. Um, either way really works, and I'll gladly show either way, just let me know. But anyways, um, so yeah, so we're going to add XP whenever we call this, right? So how we're going to do this is we're going to drag off of added XP and say plus. So float plus float, and we're going to add the added XP to the current XP. So drag that and drop it onto the node there. And now with this value, we're going to drag off and we're going to say set current XP. All right. So with that addition, we are going to be, you know, increasing our experience points. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to do another branch, and we need to check if this value is greater than or equal to our needed XP. All right, because if it is, then we know uh, that we've reached the point where we can level up. All right, so then we can do something based off of that. So we'll take needed XP, drag it, and drop it here. All right. So right now, as is, um, this will check to see if our current XP is greater than our needed XP, which is 100. All right. So if false, we won't do anything. All right. 
but if true then we'll do some stuff now what we'll do first is we will we'll reset the experience points all right and how we want to do that is uh, well first let's drag off and we'll say set current XP okay now the question is what do we want to set this to all right if we just set this to zero okay and kind of reset it that way then that means that anything over like any experience points we have that is over this value will just be kind of lopped off and we won't do use um, so we want to use that value right because um, we want to you know make sure it kind of carries over from level to level uh, so how we'll do that is we'll take our current XP we'll drag over here and we'll say minus float minus float and we'll take our needed XP and hook that up here okay um, and then I'll just connect that up and basically what this is saying is well first we know that if this is true then we know that th our current XP is at least equal to our needed XP so this will always return this subtraction will always return at least zero which is good um, but now if it's anything over needed XP right it'll it'll do the subtraction and then it'll set our current XP equal to however much the difference was which is what we want alright so next from there what we're gonna do is we are going to um, increase our player level how about alright so we'll drag off and we'll say um, or actually uh, we will take our player level from the variables tab and drag it and drop it and say get alright and we will simply increment int alright this is essentially the same as doing it like a plus one and then setting the value it's just a lot simpler this way alright so we'll do the increment there um, and then similarly we'll do the same thing with the skill points alright because every time we level up we're gonna wanna add a skill point um, so we'll say increment int but now the only thing here is that we're probably gonna wanna change this to a function maybe that uh, you know we could call from other other things say like uh, let's take for example the Elder Scrolls Online I don't, if, I don't know if you guys have ever played that before but if you find these things called sky shards you can gain skill points that way so you don't just have to gain them from leveling up basically so what we'll do is just really simply we'll right click um, after selecting these and say collapse to function and we'll call this function add skill point alright so we'll go in here and all it's gonna do is increment our skill point right and you know if we wanted we could add an input for it of type integer and you know change the uh, um, you know have it have the ver have a variable pass in you know for the amount that we add to our skill points rather than just increasing it by one but you know either way all right and so we will now we'll compile and save and we've got that function added so we can go back to our uh, our add XP um, function and we'll have you know this function now inside of it um, so what we're going to do next and what's the last part basically is we need to now set the needed XP to a higher value so to do this we can drag off and we can say set we'll hook this up all right and what we're going to set it to is itself right so we'll get it we'll get the the value of our needed XP we'll drag off and for this I'm going to do a multiplication so float times float plug that in and I'm gonna do it by a constant of two so every time you level up it'll increase by two alright so um, you know really you can do yours however you like uh, you know you could devise some convoluted algorithm if you wanted to you know for increasing your experience points but really um, a simple multiplication or just addition will be fine probably alright and so that is kind of the basics of our you know adding XP function so um, I guess now we need to just hook it up um, and show it visually on the the screen now so we can go back out and we'll go to our uh, game HUD that we made and just like we added um, the you know bars for the health bar stamina and magic uh, we're going to do the same for the experience
So we'll take a progress bar, drag it and drop it on the canvas panel, and let's rename it to experience bar. All right, and we'll go ahead and we'll change the uh, the color to yellow. How about that'll be good. Um, and then um, create a binding for it. Okay, so go ahead and next to percent, click create. A, or first, actually, I forgot we need to you know change up some of the size values really quick. Um, we'll set the position X to how about 40 and then position Y to maybe 60 and then size how about 400 so it'll be relatively the same as these other bars all right so now now that we've done that now we can uh, go create a binding for our percent let's create the binding all right and this will create our experience bar now uh, I had already started doing some stuff so just ignore that for now but Anyways, in our get experience bar percent, right, the binding we just created, we're going to want to get our character reference. And then from here, we want to uh, get current XP. And now we want to get needed XP. And we're going to do a simple float divided by float. All right, hook this up just like so. Compile and save. And now, um, if we go back and press play, you'll see it's up in the top left, right? But it's not full, right? Because it starts from zero. So it's, of course, it's not going to be full. Um, so now we just need to add a way to add experience. So let's do that really quick. We'll go to our character, and in the event graph, we're simply going to use the uh, uh, keyboard, a keyboard input. Um, so I'll do, I'll do the F key, and off of pressed. We can type in add XP, all right, and we'll call the function add XP, all right, and then we can add in however much experience points we want. So let's just do 25, for example. Um, so I can compile and save that really quick. Now out here, if I press play, now I press my F key, you'll see in the top left it starts adding experience. So there we go. And now it looks like you know it didn't do anything, but that's because we increased the level. So now you see it takes eight times to level up, and now it's going to take 16, and now it's going to take 32, etc. All right, so every time we level up, it you know increases our needed XP. So let's do something else. Let's try like 33 maybe, because um, then we'll see the carryover a little better. So let's press play. Now if I press it three times, I'm almost at the you know the very end. I have 99 out of 100. So if I press it one more time, I'll carry over 32. So if I press it. You know, there we go. It carried over 32. Now I can keep going. You know, keep adding experience. All right. And bear in mind, along with you know, as it as it resets every time, I am adding a level. I'm adding a skill point, which will help us, you know, in the next tutorial. Um, so, uh, one last thing I guess I can show is that, um, you know, you can call that function with other other things. So let's try, for example, a box trigger really quick. So I'll drag this into the level at the top of the stairs. I'm going to set actor hidden in game to false, just so you can see it in the game. And then with it selected, we'll go to the blueprints, uh, open level blueprint, and I'll right click and add event on trigger box. So I'll go to collision and say add on actor begin overlap. So this will fire whenever we overlap with the trigger box. And for other actor, we will cast to my character, so ch my character. And now, as the character, we can call that function. So we'll drag off and we'll say add XP. And we'll add, let's add 70, how about? So we'll add a bunch. All right. So now, if I press play really quick, I run up here and we're watching our bar. I step over, boom, it just added 70 to me. So I can walk over it again, add 70, add 70, etc. All right. So anyways, um, there's kind of the basics, you know, of setting up the uh, experience and, you know, leveling system, I guess. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over more of the, uh, you know, the skill tree and setting that up and then adding skills and such. So uh, thank you for watching. And if you, you know, like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.